With no noxious exhaust fumes, EVs are undoubtedly a cleaner alternative to petrol and diesel. But just how clean are they? As we transition towards an all-electric driving future, we need to assess the whole life cycle of an EV in order to understand its impact. First, let's look at how they are produced. Most current EVs operate on lithium-ion batteries, which are relatively light, yet pack some serious power. Cobalt, its chief chemical component, is a scarce, toxic element that requires a carbon-intensive extraction process. Largely due to this type of battery, a 2019 Volkswagen analysis found that EVs produce around double the carbon dioxide emissions in the production phase than that of a diesel. Should new battery technology that's more environmentally friendly become available, then the EV will be a big step closer to further reducing its total carbon footprint. After this initial carbon outlay, the EV is far more planet friendly than fossil fueled cars. Over the course of the life cycle of the Nissan LEAF, one 2019 study found that its carbon emissions would be three times lower than that of the average new combustion engine car. Many EV models nowadays can achieve up to 250 miles of driving before needing a recharge, while the Tesla Model 3 can go up to 350 miles per charge. That's a trip from London to the Scottish border without having to stop. This means less recharges and therefore less reliance on the national grid. Speaking of the grid, the cleaner the source of power coming to an EV, the better it is for the environment. In 2019, a staggering 48.5% of energy supplied to the grid was zero carbon. As Britain continues its shift away from fossil fuels, the energy powering EVs will become greener the closer we get to 2050. But what happens to an EV when it reaches the end of its life? The carbon cost of disposing and recycling petrol and electric cars is fairly similar, with a Chinese study claiming that a petrol car causes 1.8 tonnes of carbon emissions, compared to 2.4 tonnes for that of an electric car. The figures for electrics will improve over time as battery recycling becomes more efficient. Car manufacturers are finding innovative ways to reuse the cells such as pioneering schemes where old lithium-ion batteries can be used to power homes and offices. So when asking yourself how green is an electric car, look at the bigger picture as technology evolves. The future isn't the electric car. The reality is that it's ready to overtake petrol and diesel now. As infrastructure and technology continue to improve, the EV will become the vehicle of choice for British drivers.